Thank you, everyone, for the kind introduction. Appreciate that, David. It is such a great treat and privilege to be here because, as I said last night, I really look at this as the, you know, the graduate students of, of uh, health, not just nutrition, but health, because the, the leading edge information is really here, and it's just awesome. So can we have the first slide? Okay, now, what I wanted to mention is that no matter, you, it's really dangerous to believe you've ever arrived because once that happens, you know, that's, that's, it's over. And it's really, from my perspective, it's always best to be a perpetual student and be a sponge to learn information. And that's one of the reasons why you're here. But I want to tell you, because there's about 800 people in the audience right now, this is being recorded. And the larger numbers of people are going to view this, not live. And if you are one of those people who are viewing this on a recording, I'm telling you, you're missing something. You're missing an enormous benefit by not being here. Because most of the education that occurs in this specific conference, because I go to a lot of conferences, and I really st- I have gone to a lot of conferences, and I've spoken to them, but I've actually really restricted. The, really, the, for the most part, the only conference I'm speaking at is David's. Because David Wolf is a magnet. Actually, well, we'll talk about that in a bit. He, his personality, his charisma is such that he attracts people who are passionate about health, who really get it at the deepest foundational levels, who understand it. And by doing that, they come here, and actually most of the information I learned, because when I finished the tangent I went on, is not in the lecture hall. I learned some good things. I've attended four presentations, but most information I learned, which is profound, and I'm gonna to talk to you in a few moments about what I learned, is not out here, it was out there. And if you are watching this not live, you missed it. So I wanna tell you to come to the next one. But talking about, that was for the people who are watching this recorded, but for the people who are here now, how many of you were here in March? Okay, that's about half. How many people were not in March? Okay, that's, even, that's actually a little more than half, I guess. So it helps me understand my presentation because I don't want to repeat. Most of this is new information. I'm going to share with you information that I've never shared anywhere before, actually that I just learned a few hours ago that's going to potentially transform your everyone sitting in here's lives. But before I do that, I want to thank a lot of people because you obviously cannot put on an event like this without people who help. I've, one of the reasons I'm not speaking anywhere else, only here, because I've never, ever been attended to in such a profoundly good way. I'm just, this is amazing. Uh, the, she's just great. So, phenomenal people. I mean, there's just su- such an incredible team that David has compiled. Because this can happen. Believe me, I've done events before. I've run them myself, and I refuse to ever do them again because I don't have anyone who's a fraction as good as this team. So I'm just grateful to be here and enjoy the experience and learn as a student. Um, what did I learn? Truth Hawkins. I mean, he's amazing. Now, for those of you who have not been exposed to Truth before, he's like a genius. The guy is a genius. There's no question. I've met very few people who are as committed to health as him. I mean, he's really kind of an extremist in some respects. So. <laughs> but, I mean, I, love, I could talk to that man for five hours and just have my mouth drop. He's just shockingly good. And then Dr. Sinatra, I came in on Friday night uh, largely because David was kind of, he gave me a pearl that I'm going to use the rest of my life, and I shared it last March, uh, is that I only fly, based on his recommendation, to fly at night because 99% of the EMFs is going to be reduced. So if you have the choice, voluntarily, you should fly at night only. Significant radiation exposure. I mean, some of us are concerned about those airport scanners, right? There are 50,000 times more radiation by just by flying than there is in a scanner. So you would have to be in a scanner every day for 136 years to equal what it isn't. But if you go at night, you eliminate that. Dr. Sinatra learned about statin drugs. And I thought that statins, I never recommended statins, but he actually said there was an indication they do not work to lower cholesterol. They work by making your blood less sticky. Really powerful thing they learned from Dr. Sinatra. Clint Ober. I met Clint on the phone six or seven years ago when he did his work with, through a chiropractor who was Lance Armstrong's chiropractor for the Tour de France when Lance was still winning. And I was intrigued with it, but was really somewhat skeptical and fearful that it wasn't what he said, and I kind of abandoned it. But then I got re-enthused when 
David started using it in, in Dr. Sinatra. So I'm actually going to start promoting that. And it, it, what I learned, too, yeah, it's phenomenal stuff. I definitely would recommend it. Is the, I'm just sharing with you things I learned in the last two days. What I learned is that, and I'm going to change my system, is that one of the dangers of exercise, I've got a slide to show you this, is that you create a lot of free radicals. And free radicals are somewhat good, but they're very potentially dangerous. And one of the ways you can knock out all of them is not taking a supplement. It's just to get grounded while you're exercising. Simple, simple, simple thing. And especially if you're on some exercise equipment, like a treadmill or elliptical, there's a motor in there, and there's EMFs. If you're grounded, it's a non-issue. And you can just use your, your band. You know, you just plug it in the wall and you're set. Or, or get a mat and do the, the workouts on that. So I'm really excited about the grounding. Um, Ceramogem. Has, has anyone not seen the Ceramogem? Oh, you've got to see that. Now, it's just amazing. I've had a history of about 10 years of back pain. Not severe, not to the point where I've had to have an MRI or even consider surgery or even a chiropractic adjustment, but it's annoying. And it particularly, it gets exacerbated if I stand up here for a few hours and I just, oh, I'm just miserable. But this, this is an infrared heat system that has rollers that's on jade. And I'm actually going to buy one of them because it just made my back pain disappear, which is pretty cool. So Jackie is an awesome woman, very kind, very wonderful woman. And she also has some saunas. And I went down there to, to talk to Jackie this morning. And, and when I was talking with her, there was an interesting, entertaining guy. He was wearing, actually, I met him on the elevator going down. He was wearing a sport coat and shorts. I said, boy, that's an interesting outfit. <laughs> Turns out it was Dr. Yu. I never met Dr. Yu before, but because of Jackie, I got to meet him. Turns out Dr. Yu, this is real. Is everyone taking notes now? You've got, you got to listen now. This has never been shared. I did not know this six hours ago. This may be one of the most important things you learn in this conference, okay? This is what I learned. Huge thing. I've always stayed away when people ask, how do you detoxify? I know detoxification is important, but I've always avoided the question because I never found anyone who knew really definitively how to do it. And there's a lot of controversy on it. I know it's important. I know it's necessary. But I really stayed away from it, and I really haven't talked about it much in the, on, the, on the site because there's just too much confusion in my mind, at least, on how to do it. Well, I went to, Dr. Yu is in my mind, and David, because I coordinated a 45-minute conversation that we had this morning, are both convinced, David and I are both convinced, that no question in our minds that he is the best detoxification expert in the world. Let me tell you why. He's a surgical oncologist. He's an MD. Works out of Washington, D.C. He's got a funding grant from $8 million from the government, the Department of Defense, to treat Gulf War victims and 9-11 victims. He does the, the world-class gold standard, bar none, of detoxification is to do a fat biopsy. To take, cut in surgically in size, into, which is why most people don't do it, cut into your abdomen, right around your umbilicus, take four grams of fat out, and do pre- and post-intervention analysis. You don't get any better than that. And this is what he's doing. He's got the studies to prove what he's saying works. For, would you like to know what he said? 